Hey, I'd like to show you how to capture your own brush alphas in ZBrush for iPad. On the desktop version, you can do this by using GrabDoc pretty easily, which I've done before when I use ZBrush for desktop. Uh, but I didn't see a way to grab the document uh, easily except for this bar relief, which didn't work quite how I wanted it to on iPad. Uh, but then I found out there's these extractor brushes which are very good for this purpose and it's not exactly obvious um, unless you have a keyboard. So let me show you how this works. We're just going to start by selecting a brush and I'm going to sculpt some details here like this scar just real quick to get the point across. Alright, great. So now we have three different extractor brushes. I've added them to a custom toolbar here. You can also find them under brushes, extractor, you got extractor, extractor dot, and extractor drag rec. So let's start with the first one, extractor. And if you're in just tablet mode, you are going to want to go to your alpha tool panel and find extractor options from brush stroke and if you press G on the keyboard it's the same as pressing this button but we're gonna press that and then drag over the scar we sculpted give it a second and boom we have a new alpha of that and we can immediately start drawing with it and create some more details And every time you do this, it's going to replace your alpha. So if you really like one of these alphas, uh, feel free to go up here, export the alpha, and then re-import it in, and then you can use it on any brush at any time. All right, so we got some more stuff going on. We're going to switch to extractor drag rec and hit G again and we're going to drag out now and capture that area it's captured it and now we can start sculpting with it And you also have settings here. There is the width, which changes basically the resolution of the alpha. If you crank this up, you're gonna get a higher resolution alpha, but it will take a lot longer to capture. Uh, if these settings are grayed out, you have to enable the from brush stroke before you can edit it, which is currently not working. Right, so for some reason the UI broke. I couldn't click the button in the interface, but it worked when I pressed the G hotkey. So this is really stuff works better if you have the keyboard. Um, but well, keep this low so it's quick to do its magic. And the seam sort of blurs the edges a bit. And we'll do now, lastly, uh, extractor dot. This is just based on your brush size, so set it to size you like. Click, it's going to capture that area. And then you can do a dot brush stroke and move it and rotate it around how you like. Cool. And that is all I wanted to show you for today. So have a great day and happy sculpting.